What up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Shush. Today I wanna to talk to you about overspending over the holidays. We're now in January, and now you're picking up from all the harm, <laughs> or all the good, or all the overspending that you've done. So, um, I wanted to talk to you about that, and I'll, I'll even tell you how this story, this subject, I should say, even came about. I was speaking to one of my coworkers, and we were talking about what, what gifts we got for whom, and then she shows me a picture of her Christmas tree. And around this Christmas tree are all these Michael Kors bags. And first I had to say to her, well, how many people are in your family that you're buying for? And she said, three. And then I said, okay, that's great. And then she says to me, so far I've spent $6,000 but I'm almost done. And I have bells ringing in my head saying, oh my gosh, is there no one around her that's saying, okay, slow down, that's a little bit too much, 21 years old, maybe we can be putting that money to better use. And so, um, I just wanted to speak to you and find out, are you that person that overspends do you know anyone who's like that? And can you please talk to them? If they are of a young age where you see them going just a little bit too hard, please help me share this message to maybe tone it down just a little bit so that you can give yourself a better chance coming into the new year and still uh, going after goals and planning things out for the rest of the year and not having to spend time just catching up with what you did in December for that last week, last two weeks. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you some quick examples and I even brought this up to uh, this coworker and she said to me, yeah, but that seems like a really cheap gift. You know what, at the end of the day, it's a gift, there's gonna be birthdays, there are gonna be birthdays, there are gonna be other holidays, there's gonna be another Christmas coming. And when you set the bar high, you start spending thousands of dollars on one Christmas, and then the, the following year, you're gonna give them, what, a gift card? Like, you have to set a pace here. Okay, so, I just wanted to show you a quick few examples of things, um, that I saw other coworkers do and I thought, wow, that's such a great idea and it's so creative. Now, you've probably seen some of these on Pinterest, but okay, here we go. So if you have a Costco near you, or you can even find this at your local uh, drugstore, um, EOS has these lip balms that they sell in packages. So you might find six of them for, I, I don't wanna say a price because depending on where you are, it's gonna be a different price. But you can buy them in a package, okay, just for example sake, we're gonna say you can buy six of them in a package for $12, so that's $2 a piece. Then you go online, you Google um, EOS printables, and you can find these really cute cards that you can stick the EOS lip balm in, and if you wanna attach a gift card to that, to, um, one of your friends or family members' favorite store, then you can attach that on the back of it too. And boom, you have a $2 lip balm, you print, you print out those printables, um, okay, that might cost you 10 cents a page, and then you attach either a 10, 20, 30, whatever dollar gift card on the back of that, and boom, you have a customized gift that you can give to someone. Other ideas is if you know someone loves reading, you can get them these reading socks. I thought this was so cute, but I don't know. You tell me what you think about it. Do people put on socks specifically to read? I don't know, but they're out there. Um, candles, coffee mugs with clever sayings on them, body scrubs. At the end of the day, what people are gonna remember is how they felt when they opened that gift. So it really doesn't matter about how much you spend, it's really how much thought you put into it. And, and here's the thing, sometimes you might 
missed a mark completely. I remember being a kid and thinking, oh my gosh, I want to get my mom like the perfect gift. So my brother and I would hear her cough all the time. We bought her a humidifier thinking that would help her. And then lo and behold, when she opened the gift, she was like, okay, that's nice. And you could tell just by her reaction that that's not exactly what she wanted. So sometimes you do miss the mark, but you miss it in a big way when you end up spending a lot of money on these things. So make it small, make it personable, you'll get the same effect, if not better. I'm wishing you the best for this upcoming year. Health, success, set some time aside to write some goals, plan it out, and I can't wait to see what you accomplish by the end of the year. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.